goalie. I swear. All right, Mike, you want to go first? You want Pat to go first since he's got less? Um, oh, wait, you have one focus anyway too, right? Yeah, I have two, but one's real quick. Okay, okay. Real quick. I'll go. I'm, if we go a rotation. Right, right. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, quickly, uh, the new Murder by Death album came out. Um, so this was only – you can only get this if you back the Kickstarter. And the great thing about it is the uh, – the book up there, and I should have gotten better pictures. Uh, Spooky Tales, it's uh, like two or three pages per song that were illustrated. And uh, the two uh, artists that I recognize, uh, one is Ryan Brown, who he's he's done some covers that we've voted on before, and uh, J.H. Williams III um, has did a few pages in that book. So uh, that was pretty good. I uh, uh, I almost didn't get it, but then I thought, holy cow, I collect comics. And this is amazing. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. So it's like a comic book for each song, yeah. basically? Yeah, well, not – I mean, they've got a huge discography. But, yeah, they, uh, they each artist picked one song oh, okay. and illustrated a portion of that song. With oh, that's cool. Album. So that was pretty good. Um, and the, the second thing I got, which – was really really exciting for me um is the all famous police cases number 12 and this is from 1953 and what i what i realized after the fact there there's a date stamp on it which made it doubly cool for me yeah <laughs> and I, I was thinking i'm gonna get this uh it, it's got a pretty bad spine roll to it so i thought i'd get it pressed and get that fixed but when i picked this up it was in a huge bag like a huge ziploc bag and i've got a picture i don't know if you can see the little flakes on there that's bits of the book flaking off oh geez for just how poorly it was handled and me getting it and uh you know they just had it thrown in this in this big bag so the book's really, really brittle. So I don't know. If it, was it expensive or did you get a good deal? I got a good deal. I can tell you, I paid 14 bucks for it. So Well, it ain't nothing for a book, though. So they, do you think they'd take better care of it then? Yeah. 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 So it's, uh, um, I don't know if I should get it. If getting it pressed would be a bad idea, Getting try to get that spine roll fixed. It's from 1953. Or just kind of get it graded as is. You know, because I'm, I'm not looking for, it'd be nice to improve the condition of it, but at what cost, you know, is it going to, is it going to mess the book up? You worried if you press it, it'll, since it's brittle, it'll make it worse, basically. Yeah. Especially trying to fix that spine roll. It's, it's been like that, you know, for how many years I'm trying to get that fixed. I may just leave it as it is. That's almost like one where you'd like to talk to somebody, a professional you know, to see what their opinion would be on pressing it. Or yeah. not, yeah, yeah. Yep. Some moisture type deal there, I think, with it being so brittle. Right. Where you could really do some damage, I think. Yep. So. <clears throat> All right, so, good stuff. What you got, Pat? Me? Yeah. Thought we were going cl uh, clockwise and Tyler was next. <laughs> I oh, I, I just totally assumed Tyler didn't get anything. Tyler, what'd you get? <laughs> yeah, we he tried to show us, remember? Pre-game. I got a... Uh, oh, yeah, I totally forgot. <laughs> since, uh, since my last show two weeks ago, I've gotten too much to count. So I'll just show a couple things I'm particularly excited about. Okay, yeah. Um, 
You know, I, I just have to say this. It seems like I forget things worse whenever people remind me prior to the show. <laughs> yeah. Right. Like right before. Yeah. You might have to make him bigger in the center because he, he doesn't have pictures. Yeah, I don't have pictures. Oh, there's no pictures. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I went crazy. Um, I got a few DC figures. I got a Justice League Batman. What? Yeah. And then that, uh, what was that guy's name I was talking about? The Ghost Make Ghost Maker? Yeah, Ghost Maker, yeah. Um, but I also got this Batman Beyond that I love. It's pretty right. sick. Yeah. I think it's we actually too have much a for me to grab everything off my wall. I think we actually have a Batman Beyond that's yours from when you were a kid at Acceler. Really? Yeah. It's a McDonald's grab bag one that came with, you know, uh, Happy Meal or whatever. Mm. I'll get it to you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I also finally added more to my Symbio collection. I got Anti Venom with this cool stand. That's awesome. Yeah. And then because I got the George Lucas Stormtrooper figure in the retro box it inspired me to get uh, han solo and luke as well i love those <laughs> so now i have all three of them together yeah those are some of my favorite action figures ever yeah yeah and i hate that they changed the box so much for black series because i think this is the best style they've ever made and this was from the second line ever and that was like 2018, I think. I wish they stayed with it. But. That would be a cool set to put together, like outside the box, like having them all hang out together. But if they all have their helmets on, it's just going to look like a bunch of stormtroopers. Right. I, uh, you know, I've I've been always taking my figures out of the box, but because I want to keep George Lucas inside his card. That's why I'm going to keep Han and Luke in their box as well. Yeah. But I don't know. I, I just think it would be so cool, but ironically not cool. If you just had them all out, out of the box, but with all of their helmets on, but beside each other. I'd love to see that. Even mm -hmm. though you wouldn't be able to tell it's them. Right. And don't try to trick me and just get three basic stormtroopers. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see those three actual figures with their helmets on beside each other. Mm-hmm. Hook me up. Maybe. <laughs> Why do you care about keeping the Lucas one in the box? Well, they are already opened. Um, that's the condition I bought them in. But it's just the aesthetic of L George being in the box as well. The way, okay, I, have so them, can... the way I have them displayed together, they would, wouldn't work if two of them were out of the box and just George is in the box. Well, that's what I was saying. But since they're all open, you could take them out and hook me up with that pick. Now, George. Why? If he's already been open, why you care? No. I bought George sealed. Oh, like oh, this. oh. Oh, that's right. Okay, it's not yeah. the old Black Series box. Right? That's what, okay, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But I, I bought Luke and him used and already opened. He just had the box selling with him, and he put them back in for me. Oh, ah, okay, okay. Yeah. So I got a good deal on it because they were open. All right. That's all I got. Okay. <laughs> do you have picks or or do you need this, Pat? You got picks? I have a picture. I have a picture. Yeah. Okay. Get ready, folks. This is exciting. I have my pickup for the week is a piece of furniture. It's a bookshelf. <laughs> That's Thanks, a night. Okay. That's one bookshelf? No, nah, the, the one out front. The black, the darker one is a new one because oh, okay. <laughs> things were just getting so far out of control. Um, I had stuff sitting where the black bookshelf was anywhere, anyway, so I figured I'd go up. Um, I, I wanted a shallower one, but uh, this will do for now. It's, it's definitely not as nice. The, the brown one you see, I have two of those back to back, and then this black one's on the front side. That's what I was going to ask next. Do you have them separated to where it's hollow in between, or okay, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> yeah, there's two back to back. So, yeah, cool. definitely, definitely gets things off the floor. And 
I, I realized, you know, doing this, you know, it's, it's what a pain. You talk about moving comics around to sort them around back and forth. Doing hard covers is not much fun either. <laughs> yeah. uh, and I still don't know if I have it where I, how exactly how I want it. Um, and the, the, the shelf bookshelf you can't see, I still need to deal with that one. Cause there's a lot of, there's a lot of non-comic related stuff on that one. But, uh, I came to the realization that, uh, I need more bookshelves. <laughs> yeah, I was just saying that to Jesse myself with uh, with my shed. That's what I need to get some more bookshelves in there. Yeah, you know? but that's cool. It looks nice. It's nice to be uh, organized and displayed like that. Yep. So, well, like I said, I don't have anything. Sorry about it. That's probably good considering we're running two and a half now. So. <laughs> <laughs> 